This is an in-service training program presented by Nutrition Care Systems. Today's topic is disaster planning. Upon completing this in-service, you will be able to know the definition of a disaster, understand the food safety concerns of the refrigerator freezer during a disaster, identify foods to include in a disaster menu, and then understand the importance of water requirements during a disaster. Let's begin by talking about the definition of a disaster. Disaster is really any disruption of service that can occur during, for example, a blizzard. The food trucks would have a difficulty delivering food. Employees have a very difficult time getting to work, so that's definitely a disaster. Another example would be flood, tornado, power outage, hurricane, rolling blackout, kitchen fire, or refrigerator or freezer breakdown. If your refrigerator or freezer breaks down, you have to have a backup plan as to how are you going to keep that food safe. So these problems can jeopardize the overall safety of the food supply, and that's why we need to have disaster planning in place. How do you plan for a disaster? Disasters and emergencies can happen anytime and anywhere, so planning is key. Planning involves identifying the chain of command at your facility, who is in charge of what. Indicate who will implement the emergency preparedness plan, who is going to take charge. And then provide written descriptions for routine tasks, who is going to be doing all the different tasks that need to be done during a disaster. How do you plan for a disaster? Make sure that policies and procedures are developed for your department. And that would include an emergency feeding plan. And that means what is going to happen when there's a disaster. How are the residents going to be fed? Diet modifications, if there's a disaster, most likely any low sodium or possibly even diabetic diets may not be need to be followed. They're just gonna have everyone be on a regular diet. Where are emergency supplies located? Where is the location of emergency equipment and first aid supplies? What is the water purification system set up? Any list of organizations, vendors, and volunteers and their contact information. When there is a disaster, who can you call? And then make sure you practice emergency readiness drills. What are some of the food safety concerns during a disaster? Make sure you plan ahead and know a source for dry ice and block ice. Make sure you freeze containers of water for ice to help keep food cold in their freezer or refrigerator or coolers if the power does go out. Make sure in your freezer that you group food together to keep it cold. Keep the refrigerator and freezer doors closed. Do not keep opening them. You're gonna be lo losing a lot of precious cold air. Refrigerators will keep the food at a safe temperature for about four hours and a freezer for about 48 hours if it's full, only about 24 hours if it's half full. Food can safely be refrozen if it contains ice crystals or if it's 41 degrees or below, but if it goes above 41 degrees, it is not safe and needs to be thrown out. Discard any refrigerated foods like meats, poultry, fish, uh, milk, soft cheeses, eggs, leftovers, or jelly items after four hours. And then the old saying, when in doubt, throw it out. Don't take a chance. Here are some things to consider for your menu during a disaster. Make sure you simplify the diets during a disaster. There's no need to worry about low sodium, low cholesterol, even diabetic diets during a disaster. We just want to feed people and just feed people general regular diets. Make sure you use primarily shelf stable products. That's going to be the safest. Commercially canned food can be served directly out of the can without warming if that's uh, the only way that you can serve the food that's acceptable. Make sure you maintain staples for a minimum of seven days, perishables for two days. And then don't forget an inventory of paper products, supplies, and waters that would last three to seven days.
plan to use your refrigerated foods first, your frozen foods next, and your shelf-stable foods last. Plan for the rotation of emergency supplies to maintain quality and observe your expiration or use-by dates. Also make sure you have a manual can opener on hand in case there is no power. And store food on shelves that's going to be out of the way of contaminated water just in case there's a flood. Let's talk about water requirements in case of loss of utilities. The dietary department needs to maintain an adequate supply of water for cooking, cleaning, drinking, and food preparation. You need to have a minimum of three days of water available at all times, and really seven days is recommended. And also remember a normal healthy person needs to drink at least two quarts of water each day. Bottled water can also be used and ordered from a variety of sources. The water should be stored in a cool, dry area and keep it away from heat sources. Make sure that this water is labeled for emergency use only. Uh, nursing may want to have their own amount of water for their nursing procedures, but the staff should not use this emergency water supply for any other reason other than an emergency situation. Let's take a short quiz to find out what you learned from this in-service program on disaster planning. Question number one, which of the following is an example of a disaster? A, flood, B, tornado, C, fire, or D, all of the above? Did you get the right answer? The answer is D, all of the above. Floods, tornadoes, and fire are all considered a disaster. Question number two. Food can safely be refrozen if the temperature is at blank or below. A, 65 degrees Fahrenheit. B, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. C, 41 degrees Fahrenheit, or D, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The answer, food can be safely refrozen if the temperature is at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Question number three, in order to plan the menu for a disaster, you must keep a minimum supply of staples for how many days? A3, B10, C21, or D7? And the answer to question number three is D, seven days. Question number four is a true or false question. When in doubt, throw it out. The answer is true. If you have any doubt whether the food is safe, do not take any chances, just throw it out. Question, true or false, a normal healthy person needs one quart of water each day. The answer is false. A normal healthy person needs at least two quarts of water each day. For your participation in today's program, our goal is for you to use this information in your daily work. We hope you are well served today and every day. If you would like more information, please contact us at Nutrition Care Systems, 1275 Davis Road, Suite 121, Elgin, Illinois, 60123, or on the web at www.nutritioncaresystems.com.